Most people in America regard other people's rights as much as their own. Immature people don't do that. Very ill people who are addicted to drugs, who smoke, drink, and do all sorts of things with pot illegally and demorally don't have any regard for anyone else's life. You see, it's an ill mind that says, I'm going to be in control over your space as well as mine. Most people have a live and live, live concept that what a person chooses to do for their life is their 100% right underneath every law of the U.S. federal government. There is always a liar who wants to say, I'm going to do something for you because I want to be in power in this moment and feel good about what God is telling me to do. But my suggestion as a pagan priest is to stop yourself and ask your Lord what he thinks you should do. Not at all. You see, what you need to do is walk up to someone graciously and gently and say, Hey, looks like you might be in some struggle. Is there something I could do for you today that would help you along your challenge of where you are in your life that has no obligations for me in my life? And when people make that decision, then they've done the right thing. But when people make immoral decisions of pretending like they understand someone's life and pretending that they're over someone's life and pretending that they're going to have power over someone's life, they've already proven that they're representing the house of Satan. You see, the house of Satan tells you to lie to yourself about who you are in the world of other people, especially total strangers. And you might have been pals with someone for a little bit, but if you can't produce a loving kindness for them one second, then you really aren't in their life at all. You see, most people don't want shitbags in their lives. Most people don't want to be abused by someone's lies. And most people know when they are being abused, unless, of course, they're being manipulated by the audiophiles, the indiscriminates, and the, well, inaudible files of our life. You see, inaudible tracks are those things that happen in emotional and psychological abuse that says, you're not pretty enough, so I'm going to monkey your face. And I'm going to make sure you get plastic surgery so you feel better about your face. Here's the problem. All people are beautiful. And it's one thing to have a little bit of a pride issue about something you don't like about yourself, but it's another thing entirely to take it to a medical practitioner who doesn't know you at all in any entirety and tell them they have rights to you. What we're not talking about is what we should be talking about. That we have medical laws that allow people to monkey their whole bodies, but we don't allow a man to keep a beard on his face to keep him protected from the liars of the land that lie, steal, and cheat him out of every piece of his property rights, every piece of his body rights, every piece of his legal rights, every piece of his privacy rights, every piece of his medical rights, and every piece of his rights allowed to him under the United States federal government's constitution, amendments, and every friggin' treaty we sign in the world professing that we are the best in the world at what we do in terms of protecting people's human rights.